Brian Powell of Iron Far here with Emily Forsberg after her win at the 2013 Transvolcani Ultra Marathon. How are you, Emily? Um, I'm better than I thought I would be today. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Why is that? No, my legs just feel okay. I thought they were going to be destroyed. They're tired. They're but tired. Not destroyed. Not destroyed. <laughs> no. Maybe tomorrow? Yeah, I hope not. <laughs> hope not. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And have you, I mean, it's a 50 mile effort. It's. Yeah. It was hot. Yeah. The rest of your body feel okay too? Or? Yeah, yeah, I feel okay. Yeah. Um, that was your fourth 50 mile race. Yeah. Um, do you think it was your best 50 mile race? I think so. I felt so good the whole time and I think I did a, a smart race. Mm -hmm. I didn't went out too fast and I, I always had like Nira was behind me in the uphill and I felt that I wanted to see where she was and sometimes I make a, made some more minutes but I still knew that she where she was so mm -hmm. it, that's that's nice for your mind yeah to not get like where where is she is she trying to catch me okay. she's gonna have a lot of power and I saved power I think I didn't push all the time mm -hmm. so if she was gonna caught me I knew that I was gonna gonna follow her I could you had more left yeah yeah, yeah. Um, did she, was she, did she, when did she catch you or did she catch you during the race? Uh, yeah, or, yeah, she did because uh, sometimes I wanted to run with her mm -hmm. because it's nice to run with someone but sometimes it's also nice to just run by yourself and to get in the pace and everything. Yeah. But it's a nice, nice to have that mix, I think. I saw you at like 34k with Nuria up on Reventon. Um, was she ever ahead or did you, did you, did you always uh, stay with her? I mean, yeah, more or less. Yeah, small parts in that hill she was in front, mm -hmm. but uh, mostly I was a bit in front of her in that hill. And then on the long downhill, she was in front the yeah. whole time, yeah. Did she ever put more than a couple mm -hmm. seconds on you? Or? No, we were running, Together. yeah, because we didn't want to push the downhill because we said it's early in the season, we, we have nothing to... We were close to mm -hmm. the record, but we didn't... It didn't matter. No, 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 no. We just wanted to have a good sound, not to destroy us. <laughs> <laughs> so you had a uh, intruse. You had a an agreement not to. Yeah, almost. Yeah, <laughs> almost. I think we we had understanding. Agreement. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so you came into Tazacorte together. Yeah, she was uh, some seconds but, in front of me but, there, but together, yeah. yeah. And then, did you make a strong move on the? climb or the flat yeah, after the climb? Yeah, we were there together and yeah. I finished six minutes before her. So I took that down, what is it, six kilometers? Yeah. And no, as I said, I feel strong in the uphills this season. And Did you run up the, the road climb? Yeah. The one that everybody else walks? Yeah, but <laughs> I think I'm more in the mood of, you know, small running small than big. Yeah. Big yeah. steps because I'm not used to that. Yeah. Now. You're used to the mountain run, the, yeah, the, the small. steep, fast. Yeah. yeah. So no, that was. I felt the. Uh, I felt. Oh, I was tired, but when the people start cheering at you, you get you get more energy. Yeah. How is? I mean, what is the atmosphere like here at Trans oh, it's Amazing. I think it's. Uh, it's almost like Sagama, but uh, this is. I think this is even more. Maybe because it was sun and a lot of more people was out than. Last Zigama, year in Zigama. <laughs> zero snow and snow yeah. and rain. <laughs> but uh, amazing, and the ridge we're running on is so beautiful, mm -hmm. and we get to see the sunrise. And that sunrise was unbelievable. Yeah, you saw. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's super beautiful, and it's so amazing to there is so many people that loves the trail running. Mm -hmm. It's it's amazing. And love nature and yeah, being yeah. outside. Yeah. Um, did you get to? Were you running? For any men, for any long period of time, any, any I mean, like you're running with Nuria sometimes. Yeah, were yeah. there any men that you were also, uh, you know? Uh, not for a very long time. It was some guys that came and, and yeah. yeah, and left and, and came back. But, but no one for no, it ten was, or twenty days. It was days, me and no. Nuria the whole race. Yeah, it was really nice. Um, did you have any low points during the race? Mm, mm -hmm. Not, not really. I felt very comfortable the whole race and that's why I'm so happy about it because I think I managed it the way I want it to be. To have um, that control. Yeah, yeah. I, it's a new feeling mm -hmm. and I am I hope I will feel it again but you never know. It's magic when it happens. Yeah, yeah. I just felt good. And going into the race you were worried about the heat. Yeah. 
how did that aspect of the race go? Oh, it was it was warm and I had salt pills, but I lost them, <laughs> so I was so worried because I sweat a lot, yeah. and especially this early in the season. And um, but I had a lot of water with me. I think I had almost one liter between the eight stations, mm -hmm. and I poured myself with water. I didn't every time you could. Yeah, yeah. I didn't drink so much, but and then I met Joe Grant. And he had two extra salt pills, so he saved my race. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. <laughs> um, what's up next for you? Um, Segama. Segama? Yeah. And uh, after that? Mont Blanc Marathon and some small races in Sweden. You're going to go race in Sweden? Yeah. yeah? <laughs> Is that exciting? I mean, here you're on the world stage, literally, and... You get, there's huge crowds. What's it like when you go home and race in a little race in Sweden? <laughs> it's, I like it. It's, uh, I think people... I almost have more pressure there because people think I'm going to be so good. But in Sweden, you know, it's uh, it's trail running pretty flat. And I'm... I'm it's not my specialty. No. And, uh, but I do it because it's fun. Yeah. And it's a Salmon Trail Tour and I, I like to do that. So here everybody knows you because you're... One of the you know one of the best in the world, and there <laughs> yeah. they know you because you're Emily from living in Sweden, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, you know, I, running a race like this now that you've run a four fifty mile about races, mm -hmm. do you have any advice for people moving up from the shorter races to? Yeah, I think it's important to do the slow progress. You know, if you run a half marathon, maybe you can try a thirty five k and maybe one more, and then maybe a marathon and. And maybe 50k and like to take it slow mm -hmm. because if you just go from yeah say a marathon to a 50 miler it can be it, of course it's possible but I think it's more convenient for you if you do it slow and you I think you have more pleasure with it yeah don't rush it yeah yeah well here we are in La Palma a very relaxed island. Yeah. Don't rush your day and enjoy and, uh, it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Emily.